I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen the Distress Crackle Paint by Ranger and Tim Holtz in your scrapbook stores or your stamp stores. And you've probably used it to crackle paint chipboard accents. This is a really great technique and application for it. But have you thought of stamping with it? So you have crackle numbers or letters. So these are stamps from eCake Success, Martha Stewart. Absolutely love the dot over the solid and please Martha if you're listening I want an alphabet like this and what we're gonna do is just like any other stamp situation I'm gonna coat the back and what's really nice about these little Tim Holt paints is it's like a rubber cement container where the brush is inside so very easy very little cleanup you don't have to go wash anything off other than your stamps so just go ahead and glob it on your stamps. Now if you notice these are rubber stamps on a foam back backing. This technique would probably work, work best with foam stamps because you usually use paint with those. But I really like these this number set so this is what we're going to do. Really kind of glob it on there because this crackle paint, the thicker it is the better it's going to crackle. So you see lots of globbiness. I'm going to go ahead and stamp that right there. Try not to move it and lift up. And that's going to crackle. It's going to look fabulous. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do the two. Same type of deal. The globbier, the better. very messy but not your brush because you just put it right on back it's the coolest paint applicator ever 20 is going to go right here 2 is going to go right here to make 20 working really hard not to move this around lift straight up all right I'm going to let that dry and then we'll come back and we'll stamp this right, I've given it plenty of time to dry a couple days in fact because I haven't been able to get back to this and let's see, I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick up the crackle texture and those numbers. But trust me, it is totally there, especially on the really gobby bits. Look right there's like a nice crackle. It's beautiful. So you can uh, use crackle paint with stamps. And I'm just going to go ahead and finish this off a little bit more. And then I don't know what's going on after that. It's how I scrapbook. It's just by the fly. I fly by the seat of my pants, I like to say. Okay, I'm using palette hybrid ink for this part because with the paint, and this is kind of a glossy paper too, this will dry really well. After a while it's going to be permanent on both. I just have to let it dry. Again, I love these dots. Alright, I kind of have to bend down here and make sure I get it where I need it to be. Alright, cross your fingers, that worked out. Ah, close enough. Now let's do the zero. Beautiful. Ink pad back on. And then I know what my subtitle is going to be. It's about the day that Hank was born, and that was February 20th. So I lined my stickers up on a ruler so I could just transfer them over where I needed them. And I kind of go like that. These are from like the cheap packs from Joann's. And they've been off the sticker sheet for a couple days so they are not sticking as well as they could be. Alright, there's February and I just need a TH. up here. Alright, and that is all I know about my page right now. The rest is going to be kind of an adventure, kind of play along as I go, and hopefully uh, we'll have some really cool results. But the bottom line, you can use crackle paint on foam stamps.